hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this adidas logo animation inside of after effects with the help of adobe photoshop so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we are in photoshop so as always we have to do each and everything on separate layer so for that what i'm gonna do i'm going to select this layer and with the help of our rectangle selection tool initially i'm going to select this much portion which is totally different from alphabet so select this much portion hit ctrl x create a new layer and press ctrl shift v and now we have this alphabets layer and this is this extra portion like that let's hide this alphabet portion for, for now as you can see we have some additional things over here to get rid of it what we'll do we will select this much portion and we'll simply delete it and hit ctrl d to deselect it and now enable our alphabets so as you can see this is extra layer so let's hide it now we want each and every alphabet on the separate layer so i'm going to select this one let's select this a hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and hide it same procedure we will follow for this d hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v and to paste in place and hide it we will select this i also hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v we will follow the same procedure for remaining alphabets like that hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v and hide it so all the alphabets are on the separate layer. now we have to separate this one also for that i am going to select my lasso tool so press l on your keyboard to select this lasso tool and we will select this much portion select this layer hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v select this layer again select this much portion hit ctrl x create a new layer and press ctrl shift v and we will save this file in your pc so as you can see all those things are on separate layer so now we will go to the after effects we will create a new composition and we will call this as main animation width i am going to choose 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration 15 seconds and background color is white color and hit ok and hit ok choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action double click on your project window or you can simply ctrl i to import our photoshop file i have this photoshop file over here so import as footage composition rate and layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok and double click on it select all of these layers hit ctrl c to copy go to the main animation and hit ctrl v like that let's bring them in the middle like this right click new and create null object select all these layers and make it apparent with this null select this null press s and scale it down like this yep so now first thing we need to do we need to animate this a and s so by holding shift i'm going to select this a and this s and let's bring them on the top of that and from here i am going to change the color to let's say peach yeah so we can differentiate that select those layers and instead of luminance we want normal uh, we don't need to change the blending mode yeah so now we have to animate these things first now let's delete this null object for now yeah so select this a and s and hit ctrl d to duplicate them bring them at the top and for them i'm going to choose red color and this is only for our reference so hide this and press f4 and we have to select this option and then click over here so we cannot see those layers because we don't need to look at them right now so uh, and all the remaining layers i'm going to hide it now yeah so first thing first we need to animate these things too so select both of them go to the align tab and align it horizontally so simply click on them so both of them will appear here like that now press p for position like this and now let's select this a press s select this s also and press s select both of them uh, uh, unhide this s also initially let's make them zero and create one keyframe and go to 20 let's make it 45 
45 because all of them if you press s their scale is 45 so that is why i'm also choosing 45 like that now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i am going to move them over here like this now i'm going to select this a if you want then you can name them also select this hit enter and let's call it as a select this let's call it as s select this a press p for position and let's move this a over here like this now what we will do right click new and i am going to create one null object select this null press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then choose align horizontally press p for position and let's bring it over here zoom out zoom in a little bit and make sure the edge of that null object should touch this s like that and now we will select this a and we will make it apparent with this null 2 select this null 2 hit enter and let's call this as a controller like that so now if you select this a, uh, a controller and if you rotate it it will rotate like that see uh, as simple as that and now what we will do we will select this a let's press p select this position right click and choose separate dimensions now create one keyframe on y position and go to around 10 frames and let's move this over here go somewhere around 20 frames and copy the first keyframe now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here and move this over here select this graph again move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if you hit play now we will get this kind of animation but as you can see the animation is very slow so select those keyframes hold alt and let's move them somewhere around over here like that so now whenever this a is gonna come at this point select this rotation create one keyframe and go to around let's say 10 i'm going to type one so as you can see it's rotating like that so let's type minus one minus one like that so now we will select this keyframe and we will hit f9 for this initially let's move this keyframe over here and now we want a little rotation a little bit faster so let's move this keyframe near to this let's move it again let's select those keyframe and hit f9 also for this one like this so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now select this a press r for rotation create one keyframe over here hit u and i'll go over here and let's make it one complete rotation select those hit f9 go to the graph editor select this rotation graph and by holding shift move this over here and this one over here so if you see we'll get something like this now what we will do we will go over here at this point and now we will disable this hide all layers and we will enable this uh, our extra layers that we have hide let's enable them and press t for opacity and lock them and now at this point let's see what we can do press u and now go over here at this point which means at the last select this a and press p for position as you guys know that we have separated the dimensions of their position so create one keyframe at the x go to around 2.20 frames and let's move this on over here we will match this to the our reference layer and go over here again select this s press p for this one create one keyframe go over here and let's match this with this one 
select those keyframe and hit F9 and now we will move this keyframe at this point like this go to the graph editor select those graph by holding shift let's move this over here and let's move this over here so if you see we will get something like this i think we will select this s positions and we will move this over here so s will start to change this position initially like that yep so now we don't need that extra layer so we'll delete it so this thing is ready now we have some remaining layers like that which we need to focus on so select this three and let's hide it for now we don't need that for now yeah so let's see what we have so this is d and i we will select these things and let's move them over here press p and create one keyframe and go over here at this point again create another keyframe go to the start press t again create one keyframe and hit u go over here and let's create another keyframe so as you can see we have only created keyframes but we haven't changed the position yet let's enable this option so we can focus on only this one and now initially we will move them over here and press zero so select those keyframes and hit f9 so we will see something like this now go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift let's move this over here select this and move over here like that enable our s layer so we can see when we need to animate so at this point i want this to be animated so i'll move this over here and after this point i'll move this over here so it will animate like this like that same procedure we will follow for this too let's unhide it let's disable this option like that so now this thing to be animated according to the a so i'll go move them over here like that let's hide this thing for now let's hide this s also we need to focus on this a and this d and a i so select this one let's enable this option press p for position create one keyframe then press t for opacity create another keyframe hit u go over here again create another keyframe for t and opacity and position go over here start to start move them over here let's make it zero select those keyframes uh, and move them a little bit over here select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move them over here select this and move this over here so you'll get something like this now we have to animate this according to our a so let's enable our a with the help of this icon so as you can see with the help of page down button we will move this time indicator one frame forward and with the help of page down button it will move backward so i want at this point our eye should be animate so i'll move this eye over here and after the few frames i want this d to be animated so i'll move them over here like that yep so this is how it's gonna animate and now let's enable all the our alphabet layers like that so if i see now this animation will look like this now there is another addition you can do you can select this s press u go over here you can rotate this press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here let's make one complete rotation select those keyframe and hit f9 so we will get something like this go to the graph editor select this rotation graph and by holding shift let's move them over here now select all of them and enable our motion blur so we'll get a little bit realism in our animation now select both this i mean all these three layers press ctrl shift c and let's call this as lines and now select those lines select our rectangle and let's create one mask on in them like this double click to open this lines. select them press p for position create one keyframe go to around one minute i mean one second create another keyframes go to the start 
press control r to get this ruler and let's sorry select our selection tool and let's create one line over here which is our reference lines select this let's move it over here select this let's move this over here select this and let's move it over here now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this over here like this so it should be animated one by one so let's move this to 10 frames let's move this to 20 frames so we'll get something like this and if you go to our main animation we'll get this kind of stuff let's move this over here around this like that hit you so we with the help of this kind of stuff we will get this kind of animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates